Hey everyone, I'm Steve Bliskus with Mount Comfort RV. Today I want to talk to you about a 2011 Rockwood Windjammer Model 3002W that we just took in on trade. Excellent shape, very happy to have it. And if you're looking for an excellent travel trailer, rear kitchen model, under 20 grand, you found the right one. But let's talk about the Windjammer front. Obviously you'll notice one of the best things about it. You get a little bit more space on the inside, which I'll show you. And your propane tanks are concealed. And you do get a little bit better aerodynamics being a V nose instead of a flat or slightly rounded nose, a lot of the other ones. But let's go reverse, let's go this way. Just take a look at the front. You'll notice Rockwood does use the high glass, the high gloss gel coat fiberglass. Everything laminated all the way around. Rockwood does use an absolute ton of aluminum framing on this, and I'll be able to showcase a lot of that on the inside. But if you take a look under here, you see you've got your outside grill with this as well. They do have a propane line ran for that and your outside table. Taking a look over here, the business area, you've got your outside shower, your easy antifreeze inlet valve, you've got a uh, black tank flush, you've got your city water connection, your fresh tank fill, and a cable satellite hookup. So about anything you could want, it's got back there. One thing to notice here is we're in one of the main slides is the nice big atrium windows that I'm pretty sure was an option on this. I didn't think it was standard, but don't quote me on that. But you'll see when we get inside, it is a lot of light. It is insane. Taking a look here, you do have your ladder to get up on the roof, um, do your annual maintenance. Does come with a spare tire, hard plastic ca uh, carrier cover. Moving around here to the front, you'll notice, this is a great view too, by the way, you've got a nice big power awning and you do have power stabilizer jacks. I know we didn't show that, but it's got them. But nice big power awning goes over both doors all the way to the front, absolutely huge. Um, and it's also got the six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition hot water heater. And of course, this is where your uh, outside grill, your table can go onto the slide rail mount. They've also got a cable connection out here. But um, let's go inside and take a look and see what we got. All right, folks, we're inside the Rockwood Windjammer uh, 2011 3002 W model number. I know that's probably on the bottom of the screen too. I really don't know why I say it, but I guess it's just habit. Anyways, let's take a look at the kitchen. You'll notice what they have is they have their, um, their oak cabinetry up here. Looks phenomenal. You've also got the nice big double bowl um, stone cast sink so you can put hot pots and pans in there and not have to worry about it melting through plastic. And then just more drawer space underneath here. So 2011 is great because you get a lot of the features they use nowadays like the power awning, power stabilizer jack, full extension uh, drawer guides. Just really kind of cool and you save a ton of money in it. But nice big six cubic foot refrigerator. You can tell the previous owner took good care of it with baking soda inside for storage. And if you open this up, nice big pantry to the side of it. A lot of things a lot of people want nowadays is a pantry. And you'll notice we do have surround sound on the inside. It's also outfitted with outside speakers. And you've also got a 15K big boy air conditioner up here. You'll notice it does have the table and chairs. This is a mom and pop coach, but so you've got the table and chairs as opposed to the booth. We'll slide out um, leaf extension here if you want to bring that out. Now, one thing I want to talk about the atrium windows, they go all the way down here, all the way down there on the dinette on both sides. And then I know we can't see it on the couch, but all the way down on that side as well. And we've got the blinds pulled just a little bit to minimize our glare with the camera, but it's you can't really get the feeling with the with a camera, but this has got a ton of light, mainly because of those atrium windows. They've gotten very popular in things like our high-end Newmar motorhomes, which is very cool is what this has in it. Um, nice sofa, great condition like everything else in this coach, and it is a pull-out air mattress sofa. Moving around to the other end here, you'll notice we have a nice Lazy Boy recliner, nice flat panel TV with your control station all up here. Um, and if you do want to do some little bit more winter stuff, Rockwood has outfitted with all your tank heaters as well right here. All right, and then all your other switches. A little bit more storage under here. And you'll notice we even have the original Forest River booklet with this. One thing that's very neat, if you, a lot of times people have company over here. It's kind of the fun part of the campground is meeting other people, bringing along family, tagging along with them with their RVs. But you might not want anybody to pass through your bedroom to get to your bathroom. So... Voila, bath and a half. 
So foot flush toilet, stone cast sink, fantastic fan in there. Really nice option to have, which would be dead space if they didn't have that. But let's take a look in the bedroom and let's stop right here as you guys walk in. You'll notice this is your wardrobe with a nice long um, clothes hanging uh, bar there and more up, more up top if you need to store pants, shirts, what have you. All right, so got your nice queen bed with windows on each side. I know it's hard to tell, but there are nightstands on each side. I think I just said that and outlets on each side as well with his and her reading lights. And if you lift this up, it's got a handle, it's hydraulics, um, excuse me, gas struts to keep everything up. And this is what I'll tell you about the aluminum on the inside. Rockwood even frames their beds with this stuff and uh, welds it together to keep weight down. And you'll see you've got drawers here, full extensions that you can get to under the bed. Also, if you just wanna pull out the drawers, that'll work too. If you wanna put a TV in here, you most certainly can. If you don't, it's just a little bit more space to store things up top. And of course, full extension drawer guys underneath and some cabinets up top. But this is probably the best part about this wind jammer. I'll let you all take a look in there. Very, very large master bath, dual sink, nice glass shower, linen closets up here. So you see medicine cabinet here on the other ones, the same thing. Just really, really well designed. I'm a huge fan of this model if you haven't, haven't heard from the video. But I guess we can wrap it up right here. I think I've showed you everything there is to see on this. Um, like I said, awesome floor plan, one of my favorites. Great in shape trailer, well, less than 20 grand. You really can't go wrong. So if you're looking for a rear kitchen model especially, I definitely check this out. If you have any questions, just give me a call. The number at the bottom of the screen you see right there, and I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks a lot and have a great day.